Good morning, mathematicians. We are on day three of triangles. So far, we have looked at how to find the area of a triangle. Today, we are looking at, if you are given the area, how do we find some missing information, like the height or the base? So we're going to start off looking at, if we were given the area and the height, how do we find the base? It could also be, if we're given the area and the base, how do we find the height? It would be the same steps. If we were in person, we would spend more time figuring out how to do this. But because we're not, I'm just going to give you the straightforward steps. Step one, we are going to multiply the area by two. Step two, you're going to divide by the height. Now, that's if you're given the height. If you're given the base, then you're going to divide by the base. It doesn't really matter which one you're given. <clears throat> the steps remain the same. So let's, I would put this in your notes. This will help you out as you work through the examples today. So step one, first I'm going to write the formula. Area equals half base times height. Once again, we're always going to look for this right angle because that will connect the base to the height. This 8.7, that's extra information that we don't need. So we're told that the area is 26, so I'm going to substitute in for A, 26 equals half times, we don't know the base, times the height is 5.9. Now, if I multiply both sides of my equation by 2, times 2, times 2, and we do this because we're trying to get rid of that half, 26 times 2, that gives us 52, equals 1 half times 2 is just 1, so that's base times 5.9. And then our last step was we are going to divide both sides by 5.9. So 52 divided by 5.9 gives us that our base is approximately 8.81 centimeters. So let's look at what we did though. Let's make it as simple as possible. Step one, we multiplied the area by two. We do area times two. Step two, we divided by the height. That's right here. So you take the area times two and then you divide by the height and that gives you the base. Okay, next example. First step all was we're going to find that right angle that connects our base with our height. And this 6.6 .6 is extra information. I start with the formula and then I substitute in. The area it tells us is 7 and 8 tenths equals 1 half times, we don't know the base, times the height is 4. Okay, we're going to follow those same steps. Multiply both sides by 2. Multiply this side by 2, multiply this side by 2. And that gives us 15 and 6 tenths equals base times 4. And the reason, once again, why this happens is in this first step, we had half of base times height, but when we multiply that by 2, we just have base times height. Okay, then the second step, divide both sides by the height, divide by 4, and we get that our base is 3 and 9 tenths kilometers. Okay, so once again, we followed those steps. I keep saying once again. Area times 2 and then divide by the height. Last example. Always find that right angle because that right angle is going to connect your base to your height. And we see that this 3 and 4 tenths is extra information. Write your formula, A equals half BH. Substitute in what we know. We know the area is 9. 
half times the bases 5 and 6 tenths. And this time it's the height that we don't know, but the steps remain the same. Step 1, multiply both sides by 2 times 2 times 2. And we get 18 equals. Now instead of half 5.6 times h, we just get 5.6 times h because we multiplied by 2. Next step, we divide by the base. So 18 divided by 5.6. And we get height equals approximately 3.21 <clears throat> inches. So it all goes back to those steps that I showed you on the first page. Multiply the area by 2, and then divide by the height, and you'll get the base. Or multiply the area by 2, and divide by the base, and it will give you the height. That is all for today. Hopefully this makes sense. Please leave any questions uh, in the comments section on Google Classroom. Thank you.